Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Well, got a lot of reading to do today. Alright, you're, you're just about to lose me, because reading? Who does that these days? Well, if you play this game you, and you want to get your context, okay. you, you do it well, here. I do like context. So nearby yeah. is the pirate base. Ooh! Let's see what they've been up to. We're going to see what they've been up to. It's going to be, uh... Th it's going to be pretty difficult so far. It is, once again, a good thing we have so many missiles. We're going to need a lot of them. Why'd they come to Fendrana? Or land in Fendrana? It's, it's just where they are. Or did they crash land? So there's the impact crater. Uh-huh. Which is which is where all the, the, the Chozo Temple is that houses all the artifacts to keep the, the great poison in. Yes, indeed. You've got uh, the uh, the wrecked ship, which is the ruins of the Orpheon frigate, frigate that we were at at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. That's somewhere else in the Talon Overworld. Then you have the pirate base, which is here in Fendrana, just because it just happened to be, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> That's cool, right? Oh, God, I hate it already. So and I started it. Yeah, I loved it so much, all my limbs locked up and I froze. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> I was trying to come up with froze. Uh, yeah, you know why I'm so angry? Because I have no chill. Uh, just give me the cold shoulder next time, please. Cool party! Hey, cool, <laughs> hey just cool, okay? <laughs> Stay cool! <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? Lack of food because of a sudden change in environmental... <laughs> I mean the Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freeze, just, just say your line. Just, just say the line. But it's not true! The Ice Age is not what killed the dinosaurs! <laughs> what killed Besides, the Ice Age? The dinosaur! Besides, there are, there are many kinds of dinosaurs. Which era of dinosaurs are we talking about? There's several mass extinction events that happened in history. Oh my good lord. Who gave Mr. Freeze a history book? Squishy black. Oh, oh you. It was squishy ooze bugs. Oh wow, are those a like new variant of the squish bugs? That's like stale borscht. Uh, oh, ew. Uh, Did I tell you the one time I actually had borscht? The one time. The one time. Never make that mistake again. Young kid, about six years old. Uh, my, my sister's preschool was having a try foods from around the world. Oh no. Kind of thing. And one of them brought in borscht. Oh. Which is just beet soup. Hmm. And... No, thank you. Ooh. So we got the boost ball now, which means that we have these things called spitters. Gonna take you for a ride. Instead of using a bomb, we use a spitter, and it uh, activates some sort of switch. Oh. Opens up the hat, the pod bay doors. Now we can fly out of here on the Millennium Falcon. Eh, not exactly. We Time to get off Hoth. We have another spinner over here. Oh, okay. I do appreciate the Hoth reference, so yes. uh, it's kind of this. Thank you. But that's not what we're at at. Ah. Oh, hey, right, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Oh man, Samus with all the quips, she's not the droid you're looking for. <laughs> oh, uh, was it Shadows of the Empire? The yes. N64 one? Yes. I fucking love that game. That was one of, like, the first real games I ever played. Yeah! I mean, I, I played Mario games and all that, but this is like, you know, you know, adult. He, you know, humans shooting people and all that, yeah, and, shooting I, and I was I was well enough into Star Wars at the at the time. Yeah, I wish I could play it again. See, the only thing that reminds me of that is because the first level was Hoth. I, I feel like I need to play it again. I haven't played it since I was like a single digit child. The same, <laughs> very much the same. And I feel like if I were to play it now, I would a probably kick ass <laughs> and b do and enjoy it more. Definitely. No, I was playing uh, Shadows of the Empire around at the same time I was doing DK sixty four. So you can tell which one I like more. I think we can all agree that, uh, you know, Han Solo? Nah. Nah. Luke Skywalker? Nah. Dash Rengar. Yeah! That's my dude! That's my guy! That's my dude! Where is he in the new movies, huh? See, I always liked his... No, he ruined it with Kylo Ren and Rey Skywalker. No, 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 man. Dash Rengar. He That's where your money's gonna lie now! He did get canonized, by the way. I believe it was either through Shadows of the Empire or the novelizations actually made him canon. Because his robotic buddy shows up in other Star Wars games and titles. 
I need him to show up in a movie, though. Yeah, I know. That's sad. Star Wars is Disney now. He's, he's not canon unless he's in a movie. Ow, 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 ow. ow. You got these birds. Oh. Taking a dip. I was going to say, you got these birds flying around that knock you down, but sometimes it's just general is, incompetence. Is this what that the kids call getting the drip? Because you're in water? No, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that's I don't, what it I don't, is. I don't think catching an STD is uh, what they call it. Yeah. What? That is STD water? Or stud water? <laughs> yeah, take a dip. You want to be, you, you be a stud, don't you? Go, go, ahead, go, go ahead and drink it, too. You know what? I'd, I'd even wash my genitals with that area. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Take a dip in the drip. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a dip in the drip, baby! Well, it, it, you know, it's it is what it is. You know, you can only you can only do have so much success when you do first person platforming. You know, just do better. Just do better. That's about all I can do. Gaming culture has taught me that if I'm not doing good at a video game, just do better, forehead. Whatever you're doing, do it differently. Mm hmm. You know, what was it? Uh, ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson. I didn't fail. I just found a million other ways that don't work. It was uh... that was Ben Franklin, wasn't it? Maybe? Maybe it was Thomas Edison. Oh no, it was Doja Cat. That's right. It was... It was... <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. That's the only reason I said that. Yes! Part of me thinks, you know, you know of, of, of course, that, of course that's, that's not real. You know, he's just trying to get a rise out of me because, you know, Doja Cat wouldn't... And, and then... yet... <laughs> did Doja Cat say that for whatever reason? Did that? Clearly, that quote came from her first, and nobody else. I feel like Megan the Stallion would say that more than anybody else. Said. <laughs> In the middle of her hot girl summer, she goes, "Well, I didn't, I yeah. didn't fail. I just found a hundred ways that don't work." A nice double jump, and then, <gasps> oh, there we go. Hello, hi, safe station. Nice, lovely safe station. Scan me up and down, big boy. Just outside the pirate base. Yes. Oh, is that lore on the wall? It actually kind of is. Hmm. Not like important uh, collectible lore, but lore of like the space parts. Like, hey, what's going on? It's like the little, uh, the right little there. words on your can of beans or whatever that tell you all the nutritional facts. Now you don't need that. All right, here we go. We're in the pirate base now. And look, here's the welcoming committee. D uh, defense turret. The uh, pirate. Get it's you. a shadow pirate. Yeah, he's very menacing. He's a stealthy boy. Yeah, with the one eye, and he looks like a giant shrimp. Except they don't shoot, they only do melee weapons, because the uh, power for the stealth requires so much of it. I honestly thought you one-shot at him, and I was about to just laugh in his big dumb pirate face. When it comes to missiles, though, it, it seems to work on all these pirates. They, they can't seem to have much of a, of, of a counter to missile to the face. What are you saying, they're not catching missiles halfway toward their face? No, no they're not. But that thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they know I'm here! Bring in the second welcoming committee. Yep, the second welcoming committee with a second version of the Pyrus. These guys actually shoot. Ow, ow. Maybe we can get. Oh, uh, not oh that well, one. nope. nope. <laughs> this, this, this guy right. Uh, that guy right there, yeah. I kind of love the imagery of Samus running around wildly, just like, I need to scan you! Standard space power. They have a galvanic accelerator cannon and four mounted sides. Okay. That's just how they, because they're so well armed, that's how they take over the galaxy. And they don't give a shit about nothing except what they care about. They get results. They get results, and if they want results, they get results. But the thing is, there's uh, one little, uh, one, one little problem with, uh, the, with the space pirates. Yeah, I noticed you're they're able very, to shock uh, them. They're very uh, uh, susceptible to being killed by me. That seems, that seems to be their one weakness, uh, me. That's actually not a bad combo. Shock them because they're wearing electrical arm armaments, and then shoot them with a missile. Yes, uh, charge beam first because it takes time for the charge, but your missile is immediate. So charge plus missile takes care of most things pretty well. And here we have our auto map. Auto map, 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 auto, 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 auto map. Ba da ba ba boom. 
What are these guys hiding, I wonder? Probably something bad. What gives you that idea? I, I don't know. I just, it's just got a feeling. I mean, we, we already know that- What the- What the hell? Alright. Oh, oh. Well. We already know they're doing, uh, strange biological experiments, probably involving this great poison that the Chozo keeps, you know, getting angry about. Well, so is the U.S. government. And uh, I don't think that they're doing a good job with it. Oh, I, I, I don't think that these uh, experiments are succeeding in the way that the space pirates anticipated. When you hire your scientists from a 7-Eleven, you shouldn't be surprised if you don't get results. Or the exact ones that you're well, looking it's, for. It's, it's not that they're getting results. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, let's see if I can make a better dish soap mm -hmm. with the Uranium-236. I mean, I like where your head's at. You're not going to succeed. I could get results, yeah, but it's highly dangerous and could get us all killed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. They seem to, you know, really want to defend this research, and this is a lot of research here. My God. I mean, look at all these papers. Look at all this research everywhere. And what are they doing here? Well, we got a, got oh, a lot of stuff to read. Let's let's get started. A lot of pirate data is in this. Yep. Piece. Let's take a look. All right. All right, we've codified the newfound energy source as Phazon, a V-index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Okay, this is Phazon. 20 years ago. Expelling into the environment, mutating organic life strong enough to withstand the poison. Ugh. So, so if you don't die from the Phazon, you get overtaken by the Phazon. And that's, hey, that's 50% of all the scans. What? Sweet. What? Cool. What, what is this, episode six? How? These are all the log- well, the logbooks are one thing. Oh, okay, yeah, half yeah. Them. We, we, We've got a lot of them! Mining operations have begun near the crater where phase- Don't mine near it! No! Don't mine near the crater where the phazon is! And more of it leaked out. Don't do that! Excellent. Phazon-induced madness had been reported, prompting augmented life support system, loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and the most- Hallucinations! Oh, my lord. D stop mining, then! What are you doing? But, no, he hear me out. There might be something cool in there. You don't understand. Huh. We need to mine deeper. Uh, all right, most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete. We continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Our records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves or else finding their way in through subterranean tunnels. Small bridges is lighter. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna go underground a little bit. There's gonna be some uh, burrowing enemies there too. Interesting. So the the monsters are getting in. They're getting in. Yes. Because this place is not airtight. Their security sucks because these guys are stupid. Well, yeah. We made it in with with just opening you, a you door. You the door open. Guess <laughs> what? The freaking door open. <laughs> like keys and lock. We just literally just walk right in. So is all this stuff like? Extra Most of that reading is fluff. material. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, if if y'all want to play Metroid Prime so dang much, you can read them yourself. But I'm only gonna read the the, the important bits. Okay. The important bits that they count as collectibles. For that is the most important. Then we'll get proper context. Don't worry. This this is a context building episode. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're literally just you know uh, doom eternaling the fuck out of these space pirates right now. <laughs> Rip and tear. There goes their head. It's like, excuse me, you have a thing I want. Can I have the thing that hey, you, you have? Hey, can you Corey kill this next one, please? Hey, that that hey, say that for another M. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because oh, okay. there are pretty sick moves you can pull another M. Yeah, but also dread. So let's just focus on dread. <laughs> that's oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, what? what? This one. New pirate data. Logbook. Artificial test exposing Talonforce indigenous parasites to Phazon appears to be successful. Uh oh. Increases in size, strength, and aggressiveness are common uh, in all test subjects. I perceive uh, evolution. Oh no, they're t they're just they're just wreaking havoc, wreaking havoc. So why would you take a parasite and just throw it in toxic goo just to see what would happen? It's like let's go to Australia and mutate them even more. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's take the building-sized spiders and make them city-sized. Oh please no, no let's, thank you. Let's, 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 let's take the buzzing cicadas and make airships out of them. Let's do it! Woo! It's the future, don't you know? All right, another pirate data. Uh, what yeah, what here? else have you been up Research to? Research has posted Glacier 1 in the Fandrana Drifts region of Talon Forest Mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid slu- What? Ooh. What? Oh, hey. No! 
No! No! No! More. Why are they making Metroids? More Metroids. And they decided to make them in the ice area? Huh? God damn it. It's a good thing we're doing the Prime, because if we would have stopped at Seeds, they would have just kept doing the stuff on Talon 4. Oh, they're making Metroids here? And they're mutating them with Phazon, I bet! Oh, God! Oh, that's even worse. Uh, I'm gonna do it, you guys! I think you're going primal. <laughs> Metroid primal. Hey, hey! Where he just becomes a an animal infected with Phazon and takes on the rest of the space pirates. See, at the end of Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, Snake and Otacon dedicate their lives to stopping the production of Metal Gears all over the globe. I like to think that's what Samus is doing here. She's, like, putting a stop to end the Metroids all over the galaxy. Oh, just a prime example of, aw, oh, shit, here we go again. Well, right now, it's here we go again for the second time. Well, but, but still, hey, it still counts. Aw, oh, shit, still, here we go again. fucking making Metroids again. Stop making Metroids, people. It seems like this is going to be, um... A recurring theme throughout the Metroid franchise. It's almost like when you have a power source, nobody truly wants to get rid of it. Ah! Oh, he was just right up in your face. Oh shit! Uh, Gonna read some lore. Gotta read some more lore, Metroid. Metroid. <laughs> All right. All right. Talk well, to let's, me. Let's see over oh, here there's first. A little more over here. Making more Metroids. I believe this. All right, uh, phase on many is underway. Several garrisons have been wiped out, established. Oh, okay. Terraforming of the chosen roads is underway. Serious systems are operational, and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. It's supposed to be an early one. The drone drifts to research headquarters. Uh, headquarters it's going to be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in the sector within a deca cycle. Yet. Yeah, I, re I really, I really doubt that, guys, because mm -hmm. you got two things you didn't think about: me and the phase on. And now... Oh, okay. This is basically just a tower going up, and uh, there's some pirate data to read here and there. Like here. Uh, scans the spiral sector, detect a massive energy spike emanating from a Wanderer-class planet identified as Talon 4. This, yeah, this is like, before they even land. Hmm, so, okay. Ooh, we found something, like, crazy over on Talon 4. Let's go there! Unstable yeah. radioactive material of enormous potential. Uh, yeah, you think? It's like, it could be dangerous. Fuck it! Let's go! Yep, let's just we do it. We can do it! Hey, dude, there's a power source down there. I heard a massive energy spike. We're we going down there? They literally are the humans in in, in uh, Avatar going to Pandora. Seriously. Really. And I technically speak for the Navi. I mean the Chozo. <laughs> Working some pistons. Got another switch to oh, there. ball, I guess. Can hear. This almost sounds like GoldenEye music. <laughs> Gotta go through the factory of the space pirates. Yes. Yeah, instead of the. Uh, the Instead of the classic, you know, da 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 You get da 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 Samus Aran is cool and she is really awesome. Da 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 I guess I'll die another day. Ba da 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 Yeah, I'm I'm actually kinda glad Samus stays quiet most of the time. Same. I would not like to have her with quips. Ooh. Ah, this, yeah, this is, this is a big important thing. The observatory. And that, I like that. That looks important. Yep. I want that. I want that. All right, there's a few things you can scan here. Yeah. This is, of course, the, uh, the galaxy Ooh. that we're in right now. The solar system, at least. Oh. Like, here is a lovely little planet. Planet Z. Oh, hey. 4.8 trillion teratons. Planet's crust is primarily earth core, making it ideal for subterranean construction. Class 9 planet uh, 19 has uh, uh, inhospitable to most bioforms. Oops. Oops. Because <laughs> the space pirates fucked it all up. Thanks, guys. Yep, thanks, r guys. Real, real, real glad for that there. It's Twin Tabula. Okay. Planet is best known for twin fever, a disease caused by a viral strain native to Twin Tabula. In the early stages of the disease, victims suffer from double vision. When the twin sight fades, the victim is near death. Oh my god. Okay. Huh, well. That's scary. That's lovely. 
And we got, we got uh, here. Uh, oh, Talon Four. Hey, so where we're here now. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon Four was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object, where remains of the biosphere is slowly fading to the exposure to phazon radiation. It'll be a class thirteen wasteland in twenty five years. <laughs> so are you telling me the phazon just appeared? The like phase from on, an asteroid? Yeah, the phase zone was a meteorite. It slammed into Talon 4, and then the pirates are like, Whoa, what's that? Then the Chozo were like, you know, either fu let's fuck off out of here, or we can, like, suffer and die and succumb to the poison and become, you know, basically ghosts. And the, and the pirates are like, Yeah, let's go ahead and mine some of this shit. This looks great. And then Samus is here to pick up the mess, basically. Hmm. I'm liking the lore buildup. I'm liking it. Yeah, again, we're getting we're getting a lot of good proper context here as to what we're really doing here. Hmm. Now we just go. need to figure out how to get up there to that special new toy. Yep, just gotta get up there. I think we can do a couple of. Here we go. Let's jump up here. Is that a little too high up? No, we can make that. Uh. Ah, there we go. Oh. I don't want to scan yet. Pirate come unique analyzed. Oh. Main research facility located. So basically where we're going now. Oh. The research okay. core. That's not too bad. Just one way away. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make it there eventually. It's, mm -hmm. gonna, it's gonna be some time to get there, though. Yeah. But for now, just, uh, let's get oh, that, let's get go. that lovely, yeah. lovely whatever it is. Oh, it's certainly something, I bet you. It's uh, gotta be something. What's this? Mm, yeah, let's get the new toy first. Oh, oh there it hello. is. The super missile. Hello. Oh, and there's a save station right behind Right behind, us. behind you, okay. Oh, come here, beautiful. Outstanding. I mentioned this already, but super missiles work differently in this game. Charge your, your power beam and then fire a missile, spend five missiles to fire one ridiculously powerful attack. Pretty much kills everything in one hit, right? Well, I wouldn't say everything, but... I bet it definitely takes at least one, uh... one E-tank away from whatever they have. Oh my god! Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty powerful. Now, can you only do it in the regular buster, or can you do it in wave beam? <laughs> Neat! I like that answer. Let's just say, uh, the super missile works for the power beam. Oh. Okay. Well, now you got me thinking that every beam has their own version of a super missile. Hmm. Oh, I like that answer. Okay. I'll wait patiently. Well, clearly we've got a lot that you haven't expected. Oh, you think we've we've reached, uh, full strength? No, we got, we got more strength to get after full strength. Well, next time on Metroid Prime, we're hitting the rest of the, of the pirate base and, uh, finding out some more stuff and, I swear to God, if I find a Metroid, I'm going to scream. I'll hold you to that. You hold me to that, then.